Hello and welcome to this Wednesday workshop live. Um, we're live on our YouTube channel and our Instagram. I'm James, founder at Bamboo Bicycle Club. And I'm going to run you through how to fit internal cabling on a bamboo frame. So for those of you that are buying frames and see frames out there, you'll see slick cabling, all internal. And what I'm going to do, if you're doing your home build at home, I'm going to show you the best technique to fit your internal cabling. And to start off, back by popular demand, I've got a beer. It's, it's a, as it's a Wednesday midweek, we're going to have a quick beer. And I've got um, Dilemma, and it's from a brewery in Birmingham. So I'm going to open that up. And... Um, Pour that into the bamboo cup. So if you missed earlier uh, sessions, I talked about bamboo and some of the properties of bamboo and why it's really good and so on. So you can catch that earlier. So cheers. Right, as I mentioned, we're gonna look at internal cabling and I've got our two types of kits. I've got our flax kit, which is on the back wall, which is where you have the bamboo and the flax vibe and you join it all together. So it's a lot more customizable and this is where you need to plan your internal cabling. Or I've got our carbon kit, which is this one, and it's got all the internal cables fitted in. I'm just gonna give you some best practices for that one. So that's gonna be a lot quicker. So I'm gonna talk a bit longer about the flax kit and how you do internal cabling on the flax kit. And then I'm going to talk very quickly about the carbon kit and how you do it on that kit. Okay, so you've got your drawing up and what I'd always recommend is that you plan some of your build, okay? So if you're going to do a build, you want to look at what components you're going to use. So if you're using um, a derailleur or if you're using disc brakes or anything like that, you want to look in and see what type of setup you're going to do. So if you're doing a rear derailleur, disc brakes, and so on, you're gonna have two cables running through the frame. So you're gonna have, starting here, and then obviously going all the way to the back of the frame there. So you know that you've got two cables that you need to fit. If, for example, you are doing a caliper brake, you know then you've got one going on the top and into a caliper here, okay? So you know you've got one there. And then for if, if, for example, you're doing a caliper break with a rear derailleur and a front derailleur, you know you've got two going through the down tube and one going through the top tube. So the first thing I would do is try and draw out how your cables are gonna go through the frame. And if you're not sure, go and look at a frame in a garage or one in a shop and just see how they do their internal cablings, where they come in and where they join and so on. Okay got a piece of bamboo and this will be basically my top tube here and I'm going to show you how to put a caliper um, cable through here so along the top tube so once I've shown you the technique you should be able to apply this to all the other tubing and just learn how to do it so the first thing to do is make sure the bamboo is all hollow so it's got these thin walls in here so just if you've got I've got a big drill bit here um, you can use any sort of poking stick for the fire or anything like that. I'm just going to clean that all out and make sure it's clear of any debris. Okay, like so. So that's the first step. Just check that your bamboo's all hollow because if you try and put your cable through and it's not, it's a nightmare. The next step is both ends of your bamboo you want to mask off with masking tape. And what it, that's going to allow you to mark up accurately and it's also going to allow you to drill without splitting the bamboo. So it's going to provide a bit of prote protection. So I'm going to take this masking tape and just mask off liberally the ends of the bamboo. So where my cable is going to go in. Okay, so one end, two ends. So if you're just joining us, this is all about internal cabling, how you fit internal cabling into your bamboo frame. And I am starting with the flax kit. So if you're doing a bamboo and flax kit, so those of you doing a gravel kit or road kit or so on, this is how you can do internal cabling. So I've cleaned you out and I'm now just put on the masking tape. Okay, so that's on. And now if I look at my frame, you can see it here. I can see where the internal cable is going to come in. And I want the internal cable to come in where the flax is. So where it's going to get bound and covered, 
that's where I'm going to set the internal cabling. Not back here, I'm going to do it here and here. So on these dark patches on the drawing. So I'm going to mark up the entry points for my cables. So I've marked up both sides. Obviously, if you're planning this a bit better, look where the caliper, where the cable exits, and where you've got a shifter, just check where that exits and entries. And that's where I'm talking about a bit of planning. So I've made a little X on here. The next thing I'm going to need is I'm going to need a drill bit. So I, I really like, if you're building at home, I really like these wooden drill bits. And you can see there, okay, so they've got a spiky end. So it really helps you to kind of um, find the point you need. Then you're going to need a standard drill. You're going to drill this. And the reason why we're going to drill is to get the internal cable to work, we're going to use a black tubing. And what you want is a black tubing that has a six mil min maximum in inside diameter. So the inside diameter is six mil. And that's going to allow your housing to go through, okay? Like so. And what that does is that the only thing you have internal of the bamboo is this plastic. You don't have an open hole for water or anything else. So it's very similar to how they would do it on a steel frame where they put stainless steel tube in through for internal cables. So this is the black tube we're going to fit. Okay. Now, the first thing to do is to lay your bamboo down firmly and just drill into the bamboo. So I'm just going to do that. So if you've got a vise or anything like that, this helps. So you drill two holes first, okay? And you want them to be aligned nicely. So the, for those of you that have just joined me, I'm showing how you do internal cabling. So what I've done is I've drilled two holes. I've drilled them very straight. But if I'm going to try and put the cable in, it's going to be really difficult to get that cable in when it's this straight. Okay. So what I'm going to do is with that same drill bit, I'm going to use it almost um, to angle this cut. So I'm going to re-go into my hole and just add an angle so that the tubes can come in softer. Okay. So you can start to see now that I've got more of an angle there. Okay. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. So that's now got a nice angle. And what I'm then going to do is I'm going to try and fit my black cable through the bamboo. Okay. I might start the other end. So this is where it can be a bit tricky. And if you haven't cleared out the bamboo, this is where it can be difficult. Um, so I'll just clean this out a bit. Just make sure this is all clean. I've got quite a small diameter piece of bamboo, so if you've got a bigger piece of bamboo, which is normally the case, it'll be a lot easier. So, I'm gonna slide this in, like so. So I've got both ends now in the tube, okay? 
what I would do is you want some excess, but not too much. So where I've got too much, I'll just trim that off. Okay. And then that is my internal cable. So that will sit then in the frame like that. Obviously, if you're going down here, you'd do it with two, you'd do both sides and you'd have a bigger tube. So that's basically it. The final step I would always do as a tip is test. So fit a housing through and just test that that fits really well. If it doesn't fit through, start again. But the last thing you want to do is to test this cable and it doesn't fit through. Okay, so just test that. And so you can see that's all gone through. So that's basically how you do the flax cable. Okay, so that's the flax cable. And that will go up there. So just to run through, clean out the bamboo, make sure there's no areas that it can get clogged on. Dr mark and drill, so drill through and then put your black cable through and then once your black cable's through test it with a fitting and make sure that it fits okay okay and then obviously leave this sticking out so then you can wrap around it and integrate that in where the flax bind will be one final tip the hardest part to do internal cable in is around the bottom bracket. So this area here, okay? What I would recommend if you're doing the bottom bracket internal cabling is to exit here. So exit before the bottom bracket. So your internal cabling comes out here, okay? And then enter back in here okay and that way you're not having to bond around the bottom bracket and it's a lot easier to fit so you go in here down to here exit here and then in there okay so that is the flax kit and how to fit internal cabling on the flax kit if you're using the carbon kit this obviously is a bit simpler because it's got all the internal cabling fitted up what I would, however, recommend that while you're building, you want to go through the same points. And I'll just grab some bamboo for it to show you. Okay. So if you've got the kit again, with the carbon build, so I'm talking about these pre-molded carbon pieces. Make sure you clean the bamboo out. Same principle, all clear. And then what I would recommend is that you use a piece of string and you run a piece of string through this. So where this all connects on here, like so, yeah you run some string through this so that while you're doing the build, you can easily fit the cables because it can take some time if you haven't. Like with any frame build, you know if you get a frame build that you buy, you often get a bit of plastic there that you pull out to fit the cable. So you'll find all the exits within the lugs and just run some cabling. So that guys is basically it for internal cabling. There's loads of workshop Wednesdays, so have a look. If you would like a particular workshop, let me know, and I can run it next week. But every Wednesday I run these, and they're free sessions to try and help people at home that are building. Internal cabling is one of the ones that I get asked a lot. So a lot of people ask me, how do you fit internal cabling? And it's really, really simple to do. I would say that it's gonna take the average person on a flax kit two to three hours extra time so you have to allow time and then the other real key consideration is what components you're going to use so if you're using front derailers rear derailers rear brakes make sure that you've worked out how the cables are going to go through the frame and how many you need you don't want to build the frame and go oh i forgot to put an internal cable in
Okay, so plan your build and test out different options. And finally, when you are fitting them, fit a dummy cable through and test them. And if it's being a bit tight, use some grease and fit some grease through as well. And that will really help the cable to go through. There's nothing worse than building a frame and then you can't fit the internal cables. So just test them all before you finish the frame. Okay, thank you ever so much for joining me. Um, if you like what you see and if you want to um, stay involved, do subscribe and like. And any comments would be appreciated. And if you'd like to see a particular workshop or a longer workshop or on a particular subject, do let me know. Thanks very much. I'm James and enjoy the rest of your evening. Bye for now.